Hi Cancers, how are you all? Yes, all the readings are going to be late. I'm sorry. Um, getting to it now and I wanted to do your guys' reading up first or one of the first readings that I did because the Cancer full moon on the new year totally fucked me up. Excuse my language. It fucked me up. I don't know how it felt was for you all, but my moon is in Cancer. So in a lot of ways, I'm very much a Cancer. Um... My moon is in Cancer, and, and it and it um, it um it's on the cusp of my 7th and my 8th house in my chart. So a lot about relationships and power dynamics and relationships came up for me. Um, a relationship ended, um, or was temporarily whatever it is. I don't know. For me, it's ended. <laughs> um, and, you know, but things never really end, right? So I wanted to sort of do cancer early on because I know that like there was I, I cried like 50 times on New Year's Day and like thereafter and I'm finally feeling like oh I'm back to normal now but I've been very much in cancer mode um and so I wanted to check in and see how you all are doing so let's go ahead and start the reading um messages for cancer for january 2018 yes so the full moon happened for you guys in your or you all you lot in your first house right so i feel like we're dealing with a lot of illusions right now i feel like there's i'm definitely feeling like you're receiving a lot of mixed messages from somebody and it's really frustrating i know i know um, it's been really frustrating and you don't know what to believe, right? It's like, you want to believe that like, well, this person's a good person. This person, you know, has done X, Y, and Z. And so that must mean that they're this type of way, but then they kind of do some out of pocket shit like over here. Right. So it's just, I, I definitely am getting the feeling of like, I, you don't know what to believe or who to believe or what aspect of this person to believe in. Like, you just don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Um, yeah, I know. I know. I've been dealing with an Aquarius. I know. And I'm an Aquarius son and I'm like, I can't get, get away from me. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't put up with this. So let's see what else is coming up for Cancers for January 2018. Yeah. Like this feeling like you're getting played, right? Well, that's good. Let's see what else is coming up. I'll show you all the cards in a minute. I just want to get more information. I feel like this one, this one, eight of eight of wands, eight of brooms wanted to come out. So communication is going to be coming in, right? What kind of communication is it is? I don't know. You can pull more cards to clarify it. Um, but I do. I'm getting the feeling that like a lot of a lot of you are just like, no. <laughs> not dealing with it anymore, not putting up with the bullshit, not like you're recognizing, like it's really important for I feel like cancer moons, water signs, water moons, water right, like wa people that have water in their chart in a significant area in general, to really believe in and to listen to the intuitive emotional guidance, like the intuitive guidance that you're being given about somebody. Like if you're feeling like this about someone, like if you're receiving a lot of mixed messages and you're like, now they're over here, now they're over there, now they're up there, now they're down here, now they're like saying all of this to me. And it, and if you're feeling like there's missing information, there's missing information. Don't doubt that for a second. There's missing information. And I feel like this reading is really also geared towards cancer women. Um, but the, the, I, the, re the messages also will resonate with cancer men too. Definitely. Um, Cancer January 2018. Any other messages? Any other messages for Cancer? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Let's start. Let's look at the cards. And for those of you who don't know, I use this deck called the Ghetto Tarot. And it's a photographic reinterpretation of the Rider Waite. And it's all Haitian actors, all Haitian um, models, and the all even the props are made by Haitian artists. And I love it. It's great. Um, so yeah, there is... <laughs> There's that air sign again, um, and they're, they're not showing up, they're showing up as very immature energy, and also as energy that is very, very much hiding themselves, and not being very truthful with you about what's going on, like there's missing information, and you are doing your best to try to be understanding, right, and to be but I feel like this is this page of brooms here is also communication like there's also a lot of brooms here so there's active communication coming in that I feel like is it's exposing this this energy right like I feel like a lot of you are like no you're gonna tell me what's going on right now and the four of pentacles is yes either definitely somebody holding back from you Somebody holding back information from you or holding back literal pieces of the puzzle from you. Or this is your energy sort of shutting it down. Because the four of pentacles for me can also represent, you know, a need to hold back. Like sometimes I'll pull this card, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> when I'm unsure what to do in a situation. And when this card comes up, it, it, what it, what for me what it reads is shut it down. Hold, like, hold, like, shut it down. Literally get into your crab shell, get into your barricade and shut it down and let the storm pass. And whoever this person really is or whatever the situation is, it will, it will clear itself up. But you need to, like, hold on to your resources. Stop giving. Stop. Like, I feel that as though a lot of you have been putting a lot of time and energy into trying to figure out this situation and this person. Their communication is very foggy with the page they're called machetes in this deck the page of machetes page of swords their communication has been incredibly foggy and confusing right i prefer a page of brooms or a page of wands they're called brooms i prefer a page of brooms because a page of brooms will tell it like it is that's how fire works fire will tell you like it is i'm a sad rising i know this It'll tell you like it is. There's no smoke and mirrors. There's no hiding behind a million different masks. It's like, what's up? What's going on? Why is there funky? Why does this, why does this smell or taste funky? What's going on here? So I do feel that there is honest and straightforward communication, right, that you've had with this person. And as a result of that, I feel that a lot of you are shutting it down and focusing on, this is a three of brooms. Okay, well, what is it that I have that I'm trying to get done? Like, you're now projecting your energy outwards outside of this relationship. Right? You're now choosing to recognize I have dreams, I have goals, I have other things that I have kind of, like I have dreams that I have to handle. I have things that I'm doing that I've kind of put on the back burner for the sake of trying to figure the situation out with you because I really care about you, but I can't deal with your bullshit anymore. So I do feel that a lot of you are definitely moving forward and looking out and beyond this situation here. But a lot of you are demanding honesty. And that it's forcing this person to face the fact that they've actually not shown up in the highest of integrity. And right, and I told the Aquarians that, you know, dishonesty is dishonesty, right? But there also are different levels of like, you know, what was your crime? And you will pay accordingly for your crime. Like, were, was this person going out and running around? Um, and like, 
being with other people behind your back? Or was it like a small, you know, was it like they, they lied about what time they actually left from work that day, right? Like it doesn't matter. Dishonesty is dishonesty and you don't deserve that. And I feel this can also represent you sort of deceiving yourself about the reality of a situation that there are, there's a lot of confusion. There's a lot of, you know, mixed signals that you're receiving and that you are also sort of engaging in this, well, I'm going to kind of turn a blind eye. Like I said, this, I'm getting this mentality of like, well, I don't want to start over again with somebody else. So I'm just going to try and make it work with this person. Like you're refusing to let go of, like some of you, some of you are definitely moving on. Like I see some of you shutting it down. Like maybe this person was taking money from you or was going to begin the process of taking money from you. And you decided like, no, this is my shit. I work too hard for this for them to just let you take it. Or this could represent some of you definitely holding on to this situation and not allowing the universe to bring something new in. That to, to turn your back is scary because you feel like you're losing something, right? Because you go from a four to a three. You go from a four pentacles to having three brooms and you feel like I'm losing something and now I have to go out and search for that other, that fourth broom or that fourth pentacle, that fourth item that's missing from up here. And it's a bit scary and daunting. I do feel communications coming in with this eight of wands here. This is communication or motivation, right? That doesn't really care what your readiness level is. It's coming in. Something's coming in and fast. So let's see what else is coming up for Cancers. I do want to see what wants to be here. Any last messages? Okay. Two of Cups. Here's that air sign again, the king of machetes. Is it an Aquarius? I'm an Aquarius son, and the Aquarians have been irritating the fuck out of me. I don't know, like, what's going on with their energy this last couple, these last couple of weeks, but it's just like, I either need you to be honest about being here, or like, don't even step, don't even come to me at all. Like, don't, don't. It's weird. And it's very selfish. And I'm just kind of tired of it. But yeah, I do feel that like this air sign is going to be coming back in. That there is some more, you have a lot of wands here. So, and we have the five of wands, right? So conflict arguments with this person surrounding this situation, right? And I feel that like, if this is really what you want, you know, you have to look at what this, you know, you have to really observe and look at, well, what is this? How is this person showing up? First, they show up as a, as a page, then they're a king. Like, I don't, they, 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 they don't get to flip flop back and forth between being a grown up and then being a child. Like they don't get to do that. So I feel that there is going to be some incoming conflict maybe with this air sign regarding your relationship with them. And it's, it's communication that I feel is going to come from them. Like, I don't, I feel like a lot of you are actually in a space of, what else do I have to do? Bye. And then this person is now in a panic, like, oh shit. What advice do I, do, what advice do we have for cancers in dealing with this air sign? What advice do we have for cancers in dealing with this air sign? Two of, of wands. you got work to do. You know... If you, do, if you do choose to continue to have some kind of relationship or connection with this person, you know, it's your choice. But there is also other things out there. You have the world in your hands. 
right? You have other opportunities out there to make something, to have, to have everything that you want. You have, it's possible, right? And maybe this person, right, will actually be able to show up and evolve and be, right, like who you need them to be in this two of cups with you. But don't hold your breath. Like, this card to me is a don't hold your breath card. Like, there are opportunities to be made. There's money to be made. There are dreams to be chased. You have to reserve and conserve your energy for your own pursuits as much as you possibly can. Right? And if this energy can really stick, stand, uh, stay, uh, can really keep up with you, and stay put with you, then you won't have to, you won't have to worry about it. But don't get too attached, right? The, the, the person in this, in this, in this card has these two wands here, but he's not at all, I don't get the feeling that he's not even looking at them, right? Even with the three of brooms, the three of wands here, he's not even looking at, he's looking at the horizon before him. So it's like, they're, they have these brooms, but they're not really so attached to what these brooms are going to do. They are, however, looking at the, they are, however, they are, they do, however, have this world in the palm of their hands. So they're more focused on like, well, what else is out there? I, I, I have these things or I have this person here, this relationship. I have this offer, but like, what else is out there for me? Like, don't, you know, now... You know, don't, you know, go around and, and, and use this as an, as an opportunity to be dishonest, right? And go and, and run around town, if you know what I mean. But don't be so attached to, like, what this person says or does or wants to do with you. Because they can say a lot. It's the king, it's the king of swords. They, they, they can really talk their way in and out of any situation and appear to be very reasonable and firm and logical and they can really make sense. Right? But don't get attached to any of it. Keep your eyes on the prize. Keep looking ahead. Keep looking ahead. Right? Be attached to no outcome with this person, no kind of outcome, be attached to no kind of outcome in your love life, in your relationship sector, period. You have other work to do. What is the outcome for cancer for January 2018? Outcome for cancer for January 2018. Outcome for cancer. That's a lot. That was like 10, I was like a whole nother reading. Outcome for Cancer for January 2018. Ace of Cups. Okay. So I feel that for some of you, yes, the situation will rejuvenate and reconcile itself and for some of you this will also be something new but you can't bring something new in if you're attached to a certain kind of outcome with a certain person or a certain kind of outcome period lovers on the bottom so I do feel that there's something big coming in something new something beautiful and it could be a reconciliation with this person or it could be you as a result of keeping your eyes on the prize, that there's emotional fulfillment in general in your life. But something new, something new and beautiful is trying to make its way in. It might be with this person, right? Like you shutting it down and really focusing your energy elsewhere. And also, like I saw a quote on Instagram the other day that a friend of mine posted and it was, you know, no one gives a fuck about a good girl until a good girl doesn't give a fuck anymore. Like, until she don't, until she gives no more fucks, right? And it's like, that idea that being a Cancer Moon, there is this part of me that is so nurturing and, and want, like, deep down inside. That's not what you initially see when you meet me, right? But, like, there's this huge part of me that wants to be very nurturing and wants to be very caring, and is incredibly loving and is incredibly dependable and loyal 
um, in her relationship sector, right? Because I have my Cancer Moon in my seventh house, bordering on my eighth. So I'm very dependable and I'm very, like, I get very deep when I really care about somebody in that specific way, right? In general, yes, but when, I, like, when I'm falling in love with you, it's something else. Um, and that sometimes that level of sensitivity and that level of emotional availability gives people this idea that they can walk all over it. And it isn't until you actually shut it down and focus your energy elsewhere that people realize, like, I can't treat that energy like that. But do you even want to be with somebody who thinks that they can treat that energy like that in the first place? Like, do you even do you even want to fuck with somebody who thinks that they can stomp, stomp you out because you are sensitive and emotional? Like, no, you don't, right? So shut it down. Shut it down. Whatever it is that you're dealing with, ever smoke and mirrors it is that you're dealing with, shut it down. Focus your energy elsewhere. Really remove as much as you can the attachments that you've developed to this person. This person is going to come back in. They're going to communicate. It's going to be, you know, they're going to come in hot and heavy. It's going to be a little bit, It's gonna. there's going to be some conflict, right? Almost kind of in a competitive sense right don't be don't don't even get attached to it don't even don't even bank on this person coming back in like just completely be focused on what is it that I see for myself what is it that I want and how can I get that if what you want is this it's totally possible and it's totally out there but it's not going to come in as long as you're dealing with this this energy that really isn't being very honest but it's talking a very good game. All right, Cancers. That is your reading for January 2018. Sorry again that it's late. I hope that it resonates with some of you. Um, and I hope to see you all in February. And I'm going to be doing a reading special for the New Year's. Stay I'm going to post a video about that, or I'm going to try and figure out a way to make an announcement. I haven't figured out exactly what I'm going to do quite yet, but I do want to do some kind of... Um, deal on astrology readings or deal on for for a whole for like a year like a year spread a 12 month spread at a very reasonable um very affordable rate um so that you all can get a look at you know your year um intuitively and just to see where you all are at and where you want to go for this coming year so i love you cancers and i will see you all in february all right